Hey, what's up everybody? Greg here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the toy table for another video. Today's video, I've got some DC action figure bases. Let's open them up and check them out. All right, so let's talk figures. We all collect figures. Um, some of more pops, but when it comes to the figures, uh, we're always looking for ways to pose them. We're always looking for some kind of a dynamic system. Well, my buddy Ryan over at Jetta Patrol, he went down to a toy and comic book shop uh, a little ways back, and we were on a video chat, and he picked some of these up, and I think he paid like 10 bucks for them at that uh, store, which I thought, that's really cool. But then to kind of find out there's two of them per pack so i thought i'm gonna go on amazon and see if they've got them and sure enough amazon has these and they're 10 bucks a pack so i actually bought two packs of them and uh, it's like 20 bucks so I, I don't care if you're a dc marvel i don't care what you are five bucks a piece basically you can't beat it so uh let's open these bad boys up let's check them out oh before I open it up, it does have this on the back card, which is cool. But I'm I'm stoked. I'm always looking for some kind of stands, and uh, I've got some NECA stands, and they're really really cool. Got no problem with NECA stands. Uh, so first and foremost, in the clamshell, we got the bases. We got two arms, and we got the two clamps. So uh, let's get the uh, the arms themselves. Uh, these are cool uh, nut and bolt construction uh, as you can see these have some really they got some long arms on them so you can get some you can get some height out of these things but it comes with two of them so there you go that we also have the uh, the two spring clamps and let me look yes look at that it actually has a spring or a piece of metal inside of the bolt that it actually springs forward and I like this because I've seen some of these and it might have been the NECA ones the where you have to loosen this screw up and then position it and then tighten it up I like the fact it has this spring clamp now it's pretty small it opens up pretty good so we're, we're going to see what happens with it but you get two of those and the bases let's check those out get two bases now okay let's go ahead and get it out right now it says dc collectibles here do we really care do we really care if these things are good i'll put NECA figures on these i don't care for basically five bucks a piece mm -mm, i don't care and if it really bothers you go get some uh, adhesive vinyl put it on top of it trim it now you got a colored base easy breezy i might actually do that during a live stream uh, another cool feature is look at all of the holes the positioning holes uh, you actually have eight holes that you can uh, use with this now the thing i dig the most about this is the width of the base that means you can put some weight on it so um let's see what I'm trying to see what kind of figures I have laying around. I've, I've got a, I got a cap here. Um, I've got a red hood. I've got some figures laying around. We might actually do a red hood first, and we might try one with cap. But let's check this thing out. So you do have. Okay, so now this is different. A lot of the arms they attach in like this. This one actually attaches here at the top, on the side, which is interesting. I think I like that. That gives that a, a lot more uh, rigidity, um, and it's not as weak. But uh, yeah, so let's do this. So we'll just go center hole here. We'll play with it. I think it's, is it hexagon? Is it keyed? I think, oh yeah, it is. It's keyed. So that, that's another cool feature. So instead of it being a round peg, it's actually uh, a hexagon. 
it's actually got uh, flat spots on it. But right there, boom. Let's see how well this thing actually worked. Boom! Right there. Ah, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to tighten up the screws. Duh. Rook, I'm a noob. I'm a noob. All right, so let's do this. We'll just take a Phillips screwdriver, give those a little snug. That's all you got to do. We'll give this one a little snug. Right there. Let's try that again. Voila, right there. And I'm going to tell you something. That's got some height to it. That has some height. I do like the fact that there's a lot of dynamics you can do with this thing. And this is cool. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually really, I'm, I'm digging these stands. I'm digging them. I'm actually going to sort of do a little bit of a pre-pose here. I'm going to see what we can come up with here. I don't know if Red Hood's actually the best choice for a uh, <laughs> for a dynamic pose or not. I don't know. I mean, he might not be the uh, the logical choice here, but he's the one I'm using right there. So check that out. I mean, this has this has some. It's sturdy. Uh, and it feels solid. Now, another thing that I was curious about, and I think we can do this. Let me, oh, might as well take him off, right? Let's take him off. I was wondering if you could put two figures on one stand. And, and based on what I'm seeing, I think you can. And if that's the case, you could really create something cool. So that's what I'm thinking about doing right here. I'm going to, uh, now I'm probably going to frustrate some people by my choices, but you know what? That's the beauty of toy collecting. We can create our own, right? All right. So we got red hood here, right? All right, so I'm going to kick him back just a little bit. <laughs> I got a cap. I was curious to see if this cap would fit in it or not. And he does. All right, so let me pre-pose this a little bit better. I'm going to see how this, uh, this works guys this is this right here is a game changer look at this one base two figures now this it to my here's here's the thing to my knowledge i don't know of any other company that does bases that you can do this with and based on what i'm seeing here you could probably do a third figure I mean, there's enough room here, but check this out. I mean, you can create some really cool dynamic poses on your shelf. So, everybody, get over it, say in DC. Head over to Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link in the video for, for these bases. Grab some of these. Um, these right here are awesome. Hands down, awesome. Because, number one, they're sturdy. They're rigid. They feel secure. And number two, dual figures, one stand. Doesn't get any better than that. So, guys, uh, definitely leave me a comment in the video. Let me know what you think about these stands. Let me know if you're going to pick any up. Um, and also, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you got notifications turned on. But I really hope you you enjoyed this review video of these DC Collectibles Dynamic Action Figure Stands. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. But until the next video, guys, I'm Greg. This is The Toy Table. I will see you later. Mm -hmm.